Hi, this is John Hodgman, famous minor television personality and author of That Is All, now available as an audiobook, but only in non-physical media. I'm here at Amoeba Music in Hollywood, California, where everything is physical. Lily is a blinding light, devouring the dark. Lily is a five-alarm fire that rages inside my heart. And all I want to do is tell her that my love is true, to tell her that my love is true. So this is Island of Lost Souls, the first film uh, adaptation of uh, The Island of Dr. Moreau, starring Charles Lawton. It's quite evident, isn't it, that I mean you no harm? The deranged scientist uh, and, and mustachioed man. This movie was shown to me by my friend Elliot Kalin, who is a writer at The Daily Show, who loves old things. And then I realized, watching it halfway through, that he was making fun of my mustache. Oh, there's a new uh, uh, Benjamin Gibbard solo album, Former Lives. I'm in love with this song, Teardrop Windows, that he performs on this album, and I can't wait to hear all of the other songs. This is the fellow who uh, is in Death Cab for, Pu for Pewdie. Death Cab for Pewter, the Gone Postals, I think is the other band that he's in. So I'm a big fan of Benjamin Gibbard. I wouldn't miss a thing that he ever makes because I, I know the most about him more than anybody. Uh, oh, Cabin in the Woods, scariest, funnest, new horror movie. I love this movie because it is not a reboot and is not a remake, it is a new thing made by Drew Goddard and Joss Whedon, two delightful dudes who are making new things that are new and old things that are new. Again, ins insidiously creative and scary and surprising. This is Megaphon by Megaphon, their third, well, their second album, and I think they had an EP in the middle. This is a band of bearded dudes from North Carolina, uh, and they make really great, awesome, country rock music that also is uh, deeply spiritual and then has a lot of cool noise associated with it. Uh, this is John Tesh's A Romantic Christmas. This is Connie Selica, I think, is his, is his lady friend. Now, did I want this? No. But there's a Christmas album that has not come out yet that I want very much. And it is called One Christmas at a Time by Jonathan Colton and John Roderick. Both of them absolutely brilliant, funny, smart, amazing, clever songwriters. When that comes out, I will trade in this for that. Even though I haven't talked to John or John about this, I'm going to extend this special deal to all Amoeba Music uh, uh, What's in My Bag watchers. Buy a copy of A Romantic Christmas here at Amoeba Records send it into John and John, trade it in for uh, one Christmas at a time. I will, I will underwrite that deal. And if that's not Connie Selica with John Tesh, don't yell at me, internet. AC Newman, AKA Carl Newman of New Pornographer's new solo album, Shut Down the Streets. Heard about uh, this guy on the best show on WFMU with Tom Sharpling, one of the most important comedy and music shows that you can listen to. Or is it just the noise we make? Long before you were a pattern. Here's the new one by Mountain Goats. This is called Transcendental Youth. I wrote, some, I wrote some liner notes for this. I'm not ashamed to admit, I'm biased. I love these guys a lot. Uh, John O'Neill is one of the most amazing writers of any kind that I've ever encountered. Never mind writers of songs and words. Some things you do just to see how bad they'll make you feel. Uh, Murmur of the Heart by Louis Mal. I uh, was recently talking to uh, Mark Marin on his podcast WTF about the uh, impact that this movie had on my life when I used to work at the Coolidge Corner movie house in Brookline, Massachusetts. This is uh, a, a movie about a guy, not a guy, look at this, a kid who smokes a cigar, French kid who smokes a cigar. Not only that, he is initiated to intimate relations by his own sexy mother. It's a French movie. And the reason that it is important to me is that Harry Snyder, who was the manager of the Coolidge at that time, made a joke that forever changed the way I think of jokes. As he was welcoming people to the theater, knowing what the movie was about, he said, this way uh, to uh, Le Souffre au Coeur, which is its name in French, or as they say in English, coming mother. Quand je pense que j'ai trois fils qui sont des hommes, j'arrive pas à m'habituer.
Peut-être que je ne me vois pas vieillir. Tu crois que tu es un homme, toi <laughs> This is the movie they live. The, the most important movie starring Rowdy Roddy Piper as a wrestler who puts on magic glasses and sees that all of the world's leaders are aliens. You, you're okay. This one, real fucking ugly. Oh. You see, I take these glasses off. She looks like a regular person, doesn't she, huh? Put them back on, formaldehyde face. Jonathan Lethem, uh, the famous writer, wrote an entire book about how weird and great and subversive this movie is. And I agree with him. And an entire three chapters of the book are dedicated to Rowdy Roddy Piper and Keith David fighting in an alley. So that's what's in my bag here at Amoeba Records. Amoeba!